Hey everyone, this is Tom Hartman with CityNetMagazine.com. We're at Montreal Comic Con 2015 and it's a beautiful day and we're here with Riddle, who is one of the, possibly one of the most famous cosplayers I've ever heard of. No, really? You have not heard of a lot of cosplayers then. But uh, I have you Googled yourself? <laughs> Ooh, that gets, that gets scary if you Google yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just so weird. I've been doing cosplay for so long and when I start there's no such thing as like cosplay guests or anything like that. So the fact that so many people like my stuff is just humbling. So I'm just like, I'm just one of you guys. I just dress up. So. Well, I mean, that's a great point because um, we've been covering Comic Con for several years now and it's, uh, cos cosplaying has really grown over time. Uh, what are some of the changes you've seen other than being invited to uh, as guests, what are some of the other changes you've seen in the cosplay world? I mean, the biggest, one of the biggest changes is uh, people just really focusing on their craftsmanship, which, cause, which causes cosplay to become more serious, and then businesses making resources more accessible, and then most of all, just the sharing of information on how things are made. So when I started, there was no Facebook or YouTube tutorials or forums. It was basically like you just you had to figure it out yourself. Now you know people can go online, they can Google stuff and like how to make things. And so people's like first costume are so amazing because they have access to all this information. So that brings up a, an excellent point here because the you're not just a, a, a cosplayer you're, or you're making your own costumes and this is this is challenging work. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> how do you how do you get into that? Uh, basically. Um, I, I started working with, uh, my very first costume, I worked with a, a, a friend's mom, and some people, you know, you don't have to make your costumes to cosplay, some people just don't have time, some people are working 60 hours a week, some people just don't have the ability or just don't have the interest, but for me, I wanted to look a certain way, and so I know I would only achieve that by doing it myself, as well as sometimes it's, I love the challenge and hate the challenge of making my own stuff, where I'm like, this will look really cool, why did I do this? The, the characters that you choose, are they um, expressions of who you are or do you try to be someone different? I think it's a little bit of both. Um, I think it comes from, you. for me, most of the time it's like, oh, that character's really cool or she's kind of like me, but I think at my core when I started, I was a very shy, awkward girl in high school and I was getting into anime and I saw this girl and she was like fun and outgoing and sexy. And I think in my mind I was like, well, I wonder what it's like to be that. Uh, maybe I'll make the costume for Halloween and kind of get to experience it and I think that's what I fell in love with so I always say if you're gonna start cosplaying either pick someone that's like you or you could be like me and you want to pick someone that you wonder what it's like to be them and hopefully maybe the attributes would run off uh, rub off on you and it kind of does it's because of cosplay I've become more outgoing um, you know I've, I've just more self-confidence and so it's a really great hobby all around well thank you very much for your time riddle thank you so much thank you guys this is Tom Hartman with CityNetMagazine.com we'll have more for you soon